Good morning, it is Monday, start of week three of the bog. Can't wait for sorry, start of week three, time for going pretty fast. Um, is it week three? Yeah, it's week three. Just had a bit of a busy morning with some doctor's appointments and stuff for my fiance. So now we are heading off to the gym to hit a leg day session, first one of the week. I am pretty keen, um, my check-in went pretty well. Um, only gone up like 200 grams, which is, I'm sure it's probably just a bit of water weight and stuff. Uh, I've kept up with my cardio and stuff, which is good. And this morning, I was looking pretty good. Looked in the mirror a bit, um, empty stomach and all that, and was pretty happy. So, just gonna keep on keeping on. And I think after this third week, I'll probably maybe up my calories by 100 or 200. Gonna be getting paid hopefully tomorrow and we'll be doing some meal prep and stuff just to get organized obviously um, this past week I have had so much going on I haven't been able to eat as much as strictly as I would have liked um, and just not being having time to meal prep then causes a lot more problems I find that when I don't meal prep I struggle to restrict myself during meals like if I don't have something ready to go then I've obviously got the free reign of deciding what I want to eat or try and figure out or find something to eat and then that's when I run into the problems of not being able to restrict myself in the moment. Um, I think they call it decision fatigue where like you, if in a day you have to make so many decisions um, towards the end of the day like you can't make rational decisions as you would or you wouldn't be able to make decisions you normally would. So like Decision fatigue, I think, is real when it comes to diet. Whereas if you um, have meal prep and you prepare the food that you know you're going to eat and it's on your diet and it's high protein and all that, it removes that decision away from it. So then you have, um, you know, more ability to make decisions about other things during the day and you don't have to worry about it, which I think is one of the biggest parts, obviously, of meal prep is, you know, having that availability. So, oh, fucking hell. So, yeah, having some meals ready to roll will be good. Hopefully get that done either tomorrow or Wednesday and yeah that's about it hopefully this session goes well um, I've definitely been feeling a little bit more fatigued lately my sleep has not been the best and if you know me I'm all about my sleep I really um, I don't function very well without my required sleep I get grumpy and I just can't function correctly my brain and that I'm trying to get back into cold showers so I used to have a lot of cold showers I basically had a cold shower every morning before I left for Bali and then I sort of stopped since coming back but I'm trying to get back into it because I find that I am more productive if I have a cold shower in the morning I think it just wakes me up and gets me ready for the day it's sort of like the way I think of it is that it's this initial challenge first thing in the morning like first thing in the day you, you're challenging yourself to overcome a barrier and then after you overcome that barrier, and it's a big barrier when, when it's freaking winter, and that water is icy cold, it's like every other barrier in the day seems seems doable, if you know what I mean. Like, after you've overcome that first one, everything else seems, like, manageable. I'm also just trying to get a lot better with my time management and managing, obviously, this stuff, my work, and my uni, because <clears throat> I find if I'm focusing on one thing, something else falls to the wayside, so I'm just really trying to like create to-do lists and make sure I know what I have to do in a day and really yeah managing my time well and not spending a lot of time doing random stuff or stuff that's a bit unnecessary. Doing horizontal calf raises. Um, I prefer these over like something like a standing calf raise because I like to load just through my hips rather than through my shoulders because then it's you can put a lot of stress on your shoulders and on your spine whereas with a horizontal I feel a lot more stable and I feel like I can push a lot heavier.
I'm using the um, swift machine to help stabilize just because it's a bit easier to get a more hypertrophic effect from a squat like this. So I use the plate to sort of um, raise the ankle so I can get more knee extension to focus more on the quads. And then also that's the, um, the narrow stance as well helps with the quads. Alright, that's pendulums done. If you see uh, through my reps, I generally pause at the bottom. I do that to get rid of all momentum in the movement. So I'm just you know, coming out the bottom, not popping up, straight down and then straight back up using any momentum. The pause helps you just. Oh, sorry. The pause helps you just. Yeah, lose all that momentum and just make it a lot harder, really. Make sure you're controlling the weight up and down. Sometimes I'll, I'll brace on the way down, so I'm controlling it. And then in the bottom, I'll actually reset, take a deep breath, and then push and breathe out to drive up through the, the concentric. If you want to get humbled by the pendulum squat, try that out next time on your leg day. It's fucked. Alright, so that is now the workout done. One thing I always preach to people that I train with and people in general that want to go to the gym is take your rest times. And you'll find that if you take your two to three minute rest times in between really intense sets, you will lift more. I see a lot of the time people just get too excited or they feel like they're not doing anything. Trust me, taking your rest times is needed. You'll find you lift more, you can do more in your sets. Uh, because when, like I said, when you're training with intensity and you're training really hard, you need those three minutes plus for your muscles to recover. You're finding that you get frustrated because you feel like you're not able to lift as many reps as you wanted to. You're probably not taking your rest times long enough. Trust me, take your rest times. Oh, man. All right, so the workout's done now. Just gonna go do a bit of a down five, 10 minute walk on the treadmill and we're gonna get out of here. Get some lunch and get some groceries and then I need to go get a script for my fiance. to the gym a little bit earlier so I can make it to brunch before having to go to work today. The car's a bit rusty but it is what it is. It was a little bit harder to get out of bed this morning um, obviously due to the time but uh, it is okay because at least now we'll get it done early. I'd rather wake up earlier and get to the gym and get my workout done for the day rather than go later in the afternoon when it's busier. That's just my personal preference at the moment. Um, I know other people probably don't really care that much. I did my cold shower again this morning, which has been good. Just trying to keep that up now. Um, I find it, it's, <laughs> it was really hard this morning. It was absolutely freezing, so. Um, but I feel good that I got it done and it helps me just wake up in the morning and feel more productive. Um, a lot of people don't like cold showers. I think it's bullshit, trust me. If you haven't done cold showers, try it. it um, changes your whole day, it wakes you up so much, makes you ready for the day. Um, I find it's a bit of a theory of mine, I don't know if it's true, but I feel like a cold shower would be worse than like a cold plunge, like a cold bath, because of the way the, the water's flowing on your body, I think it makes it colder. But I don't know. Someone let me know if you've tried both, because I haven't had like a cold plunge in ages since like the last time I went to like a, a spa resort, which is like two or three years ago. So, got my pre-workout here first thing in the morning. Helped me get through this workout and wake up a little bit more. And uh, 
think I probably have to do some uni stuff later after work as well. So that'll be my day for today. Still waiting for this car to warm up. It's bloody freezing. <laughs> Alright, just finished work. I went straight from brunch to work, so was pretty busy there for a little bit. Um, had to get, yeah. Yeah, I went straight from brunch to work. Got stuck in a bit of traffic on the way, but work is done now. I think I need to go home and then go drop off some shoes at my brother's place um, in Eltham. So, gonna be a bit of a run around day. Got a few other things to do. Alright. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday, cardio day, so we're not heading into the gym today. I've got a bit of uni stuff to take care of, so not going to be able to make it in. Might try and go for a walk later on, get some steps in, or do a bit of a skip later. And I am currently headed off to check out a place for our engagement dinner. So my fiance and I are going to go check out a venue, have a look at the menu, and talk to the manager, and hopefully everything goes well. So gonna try and get a sneaky video of the place it is it does look quite nice so hopefully it looks as good in person but yeah so come along with us for that and I'll see you guys later the way you lie. <laughs> that could be your intro that could be my intro what up guys we are here today it is day Day three. This is day three, oh, my dudes, three. of week three. Full body day. <laughs> Full body day. I've got hiccups. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? really good having someone here to film with you to help you get your shots. One of the hardest things is that as a creative you have an image in your head about how you want the shot to look and it's so hard to sometimes communicate that to the other person. So as much as this is like better to have someone here, it's also a learning experience for the person. So make sure you have someone come that's patient and like is willing to learn with you if you're trying to do this stuff. Thankfully my partner is very patient and listens to me but doesn't always get it right which is okay. No, she's, she's zooming in on me. <laughs> you guys let me know if you enjoy the plates ASMR. You know when you put the plates on the machine, it's like a really nice sound. Is that just me that enjoys it? Like when it's, that doesn't do anything, but when you put another plate on. Ready, you ready, you ready? You ready? Ooh. Damn. Damn, ready? One more, one more. 
Is it just me? Probably. Come on, it's pretty nice. It gets me going. First one never does anything, but you put that second plate on. Magic. Oof, and then when it echoes through the gym. Ready? It's just clean. It's nice. One more, come on. Up, up, up. Fuck. Alright, just finished up in the gym. It was a pretty good session. Definitely looking a bit watery and I did oh, recording started. I did have a few carbs yesterday, so I think I'm holding a little bit more water today. I always seem to hold weight and water in my midsection, which just makes me feel very self-conscious. I feel like other people when they start bulking, you know, they put on weight in their legs and their glutes and stuff and me, straight to the midsection, which is very depressing. Just off to get some groceries now and then head to Victor's and cut up some wood. Alright, so we're gonna do with that one so we can get like the lines. Yeah, like, it doesn't go Have you yet. marked it? Is that where we're cutting? Yeah, yeah, that's where we're gonna cut it. They're, they are fucked up a little bit, but there's exact. Where so did you get the wood from? Do you hear from Bunnings? From Bunnings, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, from, from Bunnings, yeah. But you like, could have got it cut there. You should have done the Yeah, no, no, already. we did. But see, the thing is, is that. So that there, that, the, the old wood, is 220, yeah? Oh, okay. This is also 220. Yeah. But now we have to cut 18 centimeters. So this is technically 202. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, well, I gotta go, 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 who the fucked up? I literally did it, and then Marco did it, and then Dad did it, so one of us fucked up. Right. Okay. So now I have to cut 18 centimeters right. uh -huh. in this fucking piece of shit because it doesn't fit. Alright, that's me done. Victor's desk is ready. Fuck yeah. On Saturday we'll be building this thing with all these parts. So you'll see that in a few days. But for now, I'm out of here. Gotta make another stop at the store and then go home for work. Yeah. See ya guys. All right, good morning. It is Friday, um, Friday the 18th of August. Today is leg day. Yesterday sort of ended a bit abruptly after going to Victor's. I um, had some uni stuff to do and a bit of cooking. So I did some meal prep. I made some zucchini slice, which is, I made a few changes to make it a bit more anabolic. Um, it's just a bit easy to meal prep and it's easy to grab in the morning. You take it and you go. So I was pretty happy with how that turned out. I might share that recipe in the near future and then after yeah, cooking some meal prep I had to finish off the uni assessment. So now, yeah, I'm just off to uni to do a quiz that we have to do today in class and I think hopefully that's all we have to do. The class has been finishing really early so I'm sort of banking on it finishing early today again so I can get to the gym before work. So hopefully that works out in my favour. If not, I'm going to have to be going to the gym at some point tonight after work which is a bit of a drag, so hopefully it all works out how I want. Alright, so we just got done with the class, and of course the class that I needed to finish early didn't really finish that early, so I'm gonna make a run to the gym now, hopefully get enough time in to hit a proper session, um, and then head to work, so yeah, busy busy on the run today, but hopefully after today, tomorrow's gonna be really chill, gonna build a PC with the boys and it's gonna be a good time, so just gotta get through today and then the weekend should be a little bit more calm. Yeah, so 
I'm just gonna head to the gym, I'll see you guys there. Peace. Session is done now. Um, got a little bit of time left before work. I might grab a meal. We've got meals in the fridge here in the microwave, so I might buy a meal. And I think Victor's around here somewhere, so we might go check out what he's doing and then head off to work. Pretty good session. I am gassed, smashed it out real hard today. So let's go. Yeah, I got you on the encouragement. Run, that's run, disgusting. come get it. Run, I don't want it. <laughs> run, run. That was nasty. Man. Come on, come get it. Run, sprint. I'll give you. I can't, not yet. <laughs> Get it. I wish you got some of your mum's lasagna. Then you'll be sprinting for Bro, it. <laughs> I already told her, after my comp, I want like the whole fucking thing. She's like, well, you want some of that? I'm like, no, no, the whole fucking thing. The All whole right, move. Oh, go, go, go. I actually smell fucking smell it, good. Smell it, smell it, smell good. it. Smell <laughs> it, come get it. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's the macros in that? All right, so we're back home now. Day is done. It's like, like nine o'clock or something, eight o'clock. Went and went to work, that all went down well. Got home now, I'm just chilling, had something to eat and wrapped up the day. Just watching some anime at the moment and then I'm gonna go to bed. And got a big day on tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then for that. Peace out. Okay, what is up? It is Saturday, the last uh, workout day of the week because tomorrow's my rest day. Me and Victor are going to hit some upper body. Um, and then later on, yeah, we're building a PC with some of the boys and hanging out, so. Should be pretty good. Just heading off to the gym now, so I will see you guys there. Let's get done, up. We haven't done that in so long. Like, done what? Hang, hang out with the boys. boys yeah. yeah. Like, but like properly though. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah like we've gone out with other like events and shit. Like this is different. Yeah, just like a pure hangout. Like nothing Legit. actually planned. <laughs> Todo solto, velho, foi que acabou de começar.